Good morning. Or good night. Or good day. Good night. Uh, this is Mia. I am here to tell you everything that I know about oil painting. I'll make a non verbal version so you can enjoy a nice, relaxing oil painting session with music without my annoying voice infiltrating your thoughts every two seconds. Let's get started. How to prep a canvas. I paint a layer of raw sienna or burnt sienna, or you can use blue, uh, pr pr Prussian blue, Prussian blue, or uh, ultramarine, or phthalo blue. Be using acrylic and just paint out the draft version of what you want your final oil painting to be on, where, where it's going. No, you don't want to end up with a painting with white dots showing through, because that's what it'll do if you don't do an acrylic underpaint. I'm lazy, so. <laughs> I, I apply thick. Here we go. I'm just painting some green. Actually, looking back, I should have done the green acrylic. That would have saved a lot of trouble. See, I'm trying to put in the white windows, and it's not working. It's wet on wet, you know? It, it dries really slowly, but it also dries really slowly. So <laughs> you have to wait a long time if you want to make multiple layers. If you, It depends how thickly you apply the paint. Doing some greenery. I don't know what else to tell you. Oh, you see, this is a white blank canvas, but usually I use recycled canvases. Discarded canvases, I can just cover those up. Waste less. I had used up all of the canvases at school <laughs> because I was painting two or three oil paintings in a day while all the other students were painting one. So I had used up all the, <laughs> all the canvases in the classroom started painting over all my old paintings. Yeah, if you don't like any old paintings that you have, you can just paint over them. I'm sorry for the awful camera angles because I realized the chair wasn't really gonna work. Tools, 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 paintbrushes. Get a paintbrush, any paintbrush, or use a toothbrush if you want to. I have no idea which brands my tooth, my paintbrushes are. Bristles, uh, get the, get the, get the straight, the square-headed ones. Well, you can get the round ones if you want, but I, I don't I looked, I, I don't like the round ones because you can't get any edges with the round ones, but with the square ones you can get in there and get all the corners. The round ones are not nice. But my oil paint, my oil paints are 50-year-old Windsor & Newton oil paints from in the cupboard that I found in the cupboard. They were in the cupboard. And oil medium. My only, the only medium I use is called odorless oil paint thinner. The thinning agent is colorless, odorless, non-toxic. It thins and dries quickly. It is excellent for use in oil paint. It is color fast and non-yellowing. Perfect choice for the artist who is sensitive to the harmful and noxious odor of turpentine. From the brand Marie's. The, the Shanghai Marie's Painting Supplies Company. I just use it because I have it. I don't know what else you would use because I'm not a professional. It is good for when you want to thin out the oil paint is thinner. Oil paint thinner. Palette knife. I have palette knife. I use it a lot because it's it's nice when you want to lay down a large patch of color and you you're lazy. You should actually use a palette knife to to get to mix all the colors too because uh, if you mix colors using your paintbrush, it's just gonna get really clogged up in there with the, all the colors. And hence why why my colors are always so dirty because I, I I hate cleaning my paintbrush. To use my hands or use. Uh, palette knife. I, I don't. I don't think you should. I don't recommend you to uh, use your hands. Please, please don't use your hands because some people are uh, allergic to oil paint. I'm not allergic. I'm allergic to cockroaches. No, I don't think I'd be touching any of those, and certainly not smearing them onto a canvas with my hands. Oh, I'm sorry if my head's constantly in the way because I have a giant head. I, it's just a giant head. I'm so sorry. To carve out some grassy bits, grass bits. And what are you doing, me? Light, bright, light and bright areas. I kind of regret not making the background a bit more, a bit brighter. There's not enough contrast between the sky and the house. Anyway, anyway. Oh, did I just eat oil paint? I might have done a little bit of green, oil, but it's okay. Uh, just don't eat too much. It's not, it's not good for you. Please don't eat oil paint. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be arrested. Please don't eat oil paint. 
Now I'm just painting a portrait. I painted it on top of an older painting because I didn't like it, which it, it will be true of this painting soon in a few years. Now I don't have to get new canvases because I can just paint over the old one. I laid down some rosy tones, rosy tones. I have a friend called Rosie. And then I did blue face. I should clean my blue color pencils on the bed, my sketchbook on the bed, miscellaneous garbage items on my desk, mm. brush strokes. See, I never clean my brush. All the colors are dirty and green. But, but, but that's, that's okay. Stylistic choice. See, there, there goes the hands. Finger painting. Oh, when you clean your brushes, you can use a bit of oil paint thinner. Don't twirl around the oil paint thinner because it's not water. Dip it in a bit of oil paint thinner and use a tissue to clean off the end bits first and then go wash it as you would with water and soap. How do you wash your paintbrush? I just use hand soap. Hand. And now it's nighttime. That's why the coloring is different and the lights look different. And I wish I hadn't changed his face. You know, the thing with oil paint is that to make everything more multi colorful, M multi multi layered. I usually, is it? Yeah, I usually finish painting in one day, so <laughs> I I don't bother to go with layers and stuff. But to make sure you know that it's available for use. And maybe I'm just bad at using acrylics. But I think it's nicer. I like the creamy texture. But oil paints are, are great. They're great. Yes, I I'll just show. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day. Please take care of yourself. And goodbye. <laughs>